All right, so uh, I'm farting in here. Let me get going on um, playing it off. I had to plug the phone in. that one right off. Maybe I just leave this to the side for a second. So what's going on here is that this edge is going to have to come down. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm shooting a video, Kate. Okay? Right. No problem. A little bit uh, the cap iron set really tight so I can at least have a prayer of not having a ton of tear out. So it's, when it's like this, it uh, pushes a little bit harder, even though it's just came out of the sharpening block and it's. Really sharp. I'm just getting the glue line out. Sorry, I can't bring you over here, but you're on the charger. But we got a teeny little bit of glue right here. Seems just a teeny little bit high right here. I'm just trying to take the seam down, and then I'm going to take this seam down, clean up the rest of them, and then go to smoothing. If I don't have to use a scrub, I won't. You can see how when you get the cap iron set this tight, how you get these wrinkly shavings. And that's just guarding against tear out, that's all. So that I can plane away without worrying about ripping out a big chunk. Because the grain's all over the place, different directions here. And as long as I keep the cleaned up, both sides will be able to get to it. You'll see a ton of knots right here. them off so I can get at this. This top's going to be cut down about here to about here, but I left it full length because it would just be easier for planing. Alright, I got rid of the glue there. It's like one teeny little spot and I can probably smooth that out, so just take a pass out here. Nice and smooth. I'll work on the next seam. Piece of glue there. Probably want to move that so I can do it. That's good. 
good that it's taking a big thick shaving there because it means to me it's a little high right in the middle and I kind of need that. Working forward, trying to get this down. That seems pretty much cleaned up. I think what I'm gonna do real quick, just so I don't wipe, I'm just try it. I don't want to wipe this iron right out because I just sharpened it. As you can see, sometimes you got to come up with creative solutions to having this thing move around with a split top bench. Um, I can put stops in here so that it just slides that way, it'll hit against it. I just don't want to hit it on the way out. Get my scrub plane out of here too. So this seems pretty high. I'm gonna try and take a couple passes off it. Too, I got it. So I'll just take it out so much later. This is that shelf number nine that everybody says no good. right here right now. kind of it's tapering off it's high in the middle you can see it's flattening out nice because I'm getting nice big shavings a little faster without tearing out. If I remember right when I was using this the other day I got the cap on set pretty tight. Five. 
So I'm cutting right through those knots on the back side. Sorry to go so long without saying anything, but you probably just like watching the plane anyway. I got all the all the seams are even now. Um, I'm feeling with my hand for high spots, kind of like there's one like right here around these knots. There was one here, but it's kind of gone. I got a couple of plane tracks here that. I don't see it in the plane, but I have a couple plane tracks there I'm going to take out. Um, the glue is pretty much gone except for right here, and I'll try to spin around and see if I can do that left-handed without hitting this. But let me get rid of these plane tracks really quick. So if I can just get rid of this one little high spot right here, I'll be able to um, pretty much go to smoothing. So let's see if I can do it left-handed. Let me know. Feels like it might be back in the green. Let me back that off. Should come out a little smoother. Well, 
Let's see. You see how long this video is getting. We may just go right to smoothing. I can't see. 28. So you can probably see the top from here because you're still charging. I'm going to start another one. 